adventure ends. In the middle of the night, the stars twinkle. Psych! Pounding a king out! Everyone will please panic. Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. Are you ready to come camping? Why have you brought an orange? It's to scare off gnomes. You know what they say, to scare off a gnome, bring a gnome, pinch from a gnome. What did I say, huh? To scare off a gnome, bring a gnome, from a gnome. What's wrong with gnomes? Gnomes are just like elves. Absolutely not. Gnomes are greedy, boring creatures who talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and look at the time. Bye, Mummy and Daddy. Bye, Nanny. Have a diabetes. Watch out for the a diabetes. Here's the timetable. One, set up camp. Two, hang up camp. Three, campfire camp. Dad, we're on holiday. Here's the tent. Hi, I'm back. Rick told me to not be in any videos just for pure drama. Firstly, we have to talk about that tent. My goodness, how will this accommodate four people? Can I magic the tent up for us, Mr. Elf? Holly, I'd rather magic. Holly, remember, this is an elf. Well, duh. Elves have been camping for hundreds of years. We can put tents up with our eyes closed. Muchas gracias, afición. Este para vosotros. Now let's talk about that collaterally compromised move of making a tent with eyes closed. First of all, if you were to do this in the Stone Age, you were most likely going to create an injury to you both and someone else, causing double parasitism. And to educate you all, parasitism is when one organism gets benefited and the other is harmed. One elf tent. I got one, two, three, four, five. Lovely. Now we're on holiday. Yes, and that means there's work to be done. Now we're not on holiday. <laughs> A campsite can never camp. I'll slice the orange. This is elf. How do oranges keep gnomes? It's the smell. Gnomes hate the smell of the smell. Sorry again to interrupt. I can't resist illogical things happening in this episode. When she cut one side, it came out as five. And why on earth do you use a knife when you can peel them instead? Next on the list, collect list. Here are some sticks. Here are some more. I found them first. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. 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 Quiet, please. Please. No need to shout. No need to yell. No need to have a riot. Shut your eyes. Take a deep breath. Oh, you've gone all quiet. Psych! <gasps> Hello there. A gnome! Mind if I join you? How about no? Gnomes hate oranges. Normally, yes. But I'm this orange. I'm on a diet, you see. If I eat ten pies, yeah, and twenty steam puddings, I need diabetes. Let's make a fire. I think we can do better than that. Let's make, make a fire. You and me. How do you make a fire, Mr. Elf? Stick two sticks together. Sticks together, really. Stickly. <sighs> Faster. <sighs> Faster. <sighs> Would you like to hear the interesting thing I know about sticks? Yeah, that's not gonna happen, mate. Six sticks stick on stick trees. Amazing! Build by the science guy. Yes, the
cheese and onion pie. Ooh, thank you very much. Think of the people in Africa and you over here eating like everything is food. That's tasty. Tasty. Look, up in the sky, it's a bird. It's a plane. It's an owl. <laughs> Would you like me? Oh my god, please leave us alone. I can't tolerate this much of a nonsense with a morbidly obese guy coming to a camping trip. The owl is in fact a big bird. It's in fact. Are you little? Six o'clock. Time for bed. I'll put the fire out. It's for five, Holly. Don't go to bed. How dare you? Ben, Holly. You get in the tent and go to sleep. Mr. Gnome, you have to go home. Oh, 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 I know a song. Would you like to hear it? No! Time for bed. It was lovely meeting you, Mr. Gnome. Now we need to get some sleep. A good night's sleep is very important. Rinky dinky do do. Would you like me to stop? Yes! And please go! Would you like me to go? No! Six o'clock! Time for bed! Don't go to bed! 